In this video, we're going to be going over holidays and door unlock schedules. Now, to do so, we're going to have to go to the Time Zones page, and there's two ways to do that. We can either select the Time Zones button here, or we can go up to the top, select Access Control, and then Time Zones. We're going to come back to the Holidays page, but for now, let's go to the Time Zones tab. The Time Zones tab is where you can set schedules for things to start and end at set times and on set dates. So for this example, let's create a new one. So I'm going to go to the bottom and hit Add. I'm going to name my Time Zone Test Time Zone. And I want my start to be 8 a.m. and my end to be 5 p.m. Everything is in 24 hour time. So 5 p.m. is going to be 1,700, 8, 6 p.m. is going to be 1,800, for example. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Monday through Friday as my dates. And then I'm going to go and hit OK. So now that that's all set up, I want to assign this to a door. So let's go up to the top and select Time Zone and Reader Modes. As you can see, there isn't currently any readers assigned to a time zone. So let's go down to the bottom and hit Modify. So in the Readers tab, I'm going to go ahead and select the door that I want. For this example, I'm going to use the front door. And I'm also going to select the time zone we just created. Now you'll see here there's a start and an end state for the reader. If you remember back from the Time Zones tab, we have a start and an end that we set. So at the start, I want the door to unlock because I want the door to unlock at 8 a.m. And at the end, I want the door to go into card-only mode, so people can still access it, but the door will not be open freely. So now that we have all that selected, we can go ahead and hit Assign, and you'll see that that reader populates over here with the time zone we just created. After that, we can go ahead and hit OK. And now that door is assigned to that time zone. So now we have the front door running on the 8 to 5 Monday through Friday schedule, which it will do. However, there are going to be some days where your office is closed and people won't be there and you don't want the doors to unlock them. So that's where holidays come in. So now that we've got this set up, is we can make sure that the H1 box for holiday 1 is not checked. And that will make it so this schedule does not execute on any days that are specified as a holiday one in the holidays tab. So let's go ahead and get one of those set up. So I'm going to go and hit add down at the bottom. I'm going to name my holiday Christmas. And I'm going to designate it as a type one holiday. Then I'm going to go to the calendar here. And I'm going to select Christmas Day and then hit OK. So now, as you can see, Christmas is in the holidays list. And we can go back here and make sure that holiday one is not checked, which means that this schedule will not do anything on any days marked holiday one. If there are days where you want to be open for a half a day, we can go back into time zones, select the time zone we want, and hit modify. I still want this store to open at 8 o'clock at the normal time, but instead of having it lock at 5, I want it to lock at noon. So let's put noon as my end time here. And then I can go ahead and just check the box for holiday 2 and hit OK. So now, every time that there's a date specified as a holiday 2, it will follow this schedule instead of this schedule. So let's go back to the Holidays tab and do add again. I'm going to name this holiday Christmas Eve. I'm going to uncheck the type 1 box and check the type 2 box. And then go down to the calendar and check the 24th instead of the 25th and hit OK. So now I've got Christmas and Christmas Eve. On Christmas you're set to be closed the entire day. Christmas Eve the doors will unlock at 8 a.m. and relock at 12 p.m. 